All right, y'all, you're now rocking with Ready Red Kennels, home of Ready Red Kennel and Ready Red Global Channel. <coughs> um, I got a little, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, I got a little comment, uh, let's see, hold on, yeah, I got a comment on a, a guy, he wanted, uh, he asked what's the difference between line breeding and end breeding, let's see if we can. Pull it up. Oh, shit, I forgot I switched to this channel. Hold on. So what I got to do is I got to... Here. Switch. Switch here. So... This guy asked about the difference between inbreeding and line breeding. So I'ma uh, go in on this for a sec, cause this kind of in my realm, Europe, kind of what I talk about. So, all right, so I'ma go on this on this website right here, and then I'ma I'm flow on down. No, I'm gonna go to the top. Hold on. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'll do the puppy tab. All right, so. Damn. All right, so. All right, this breeding right here, I would consider a line breeding. This would be like more of a, more of a loose line breeding. You got this. These four dogs, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter. All right, so Lil Yellow Man is 25% of the blood, Nunu 25%, Thor 25%, Fate No More 25%. This quarter carries Boomer, which is tight red boy. I'm, I mean, this half a quarter, so this 12 and a half carries Boomer. This 12 and a half carries red boy Jocko. So that makes, I mean, this quarter is just red boy Jocko. This quarter is bolio that's bolio that's bolio that's a little vice grip poncho a little bit of mayday right there but we i, I take this i look at this side mainly bolio it's a lot of highlands work down there red pirate dogs like that so this bolio in here so that's a quarter those two half a quarters bolio all right this right here is red boy jocko this is red boy jocko so this is just red boy jocko this one here is a little heavy on red boy but it's still red boy jocko this one here, this quarter is Red Boy Jocko Thug again. So you got here, you got Thug, 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 Thug. And you got Thug again right here. And her mama, her grandmama, her mom's dad is Thug. So Thug's in the fifth generation coming through this side too. So we took a male with Boomer Thug and bred him to bred him to the Bolio Jip and took that male, then bred him to the Heavy Thug Jip. Now this dog here has Boomer back. Over here, which is Reba's daddy, which is Reba's daddy side, and then there's also a triple A coming through there. So this is a line bred breeding. We took closely related dogs and put them together, but keeping a quarter out. So it's loose line breeding. Now I'm gonna show you another example. Um, I right, right here, I got Beast and Candy, Beast. Is, is off of Yellow Man. This is, again, the same dog up there. A lot of my dogs related. So right here, this is Red Boy, Jocko, heavy on Red Boy. Because you got a heavy influx of Red Boy coming right here, coming through R Rookie. Oh, I got to fix that. Got an eye, need an eye. Then you got Red Boy Jocko, Dramana, Red Boy Jocko. These, this is when we bred them directly together, the repeat to get him. Then, um, so that's all Red Boy Jocko, a little heavier Red Boy because of the Boomer. All right, again, same dog, same breed, Little Yellow Man and Drama. This is the first breed to get sa sassy, my favorite, one of my favorite bitches. And so she's heavier Red Boy than Jocko. So we bred her to Leo. Leo comes off of Thor. Who in Drama to come off of Thor? Drama again, Thor right there again. Leo is double bred on Thor. So 75% heavy, heavy on Thor traits. 
which Thor is off a of thug. So you got thug coming through Thor two times. Thug coming through Thor again two times. You got thug down here from Passion. Thug over here. You got thug coming through there. Thug through here. Thug through here. Everywhere you look, it's thug. You got Boomer coming from there. You got Boomer coming through uh, Thor right here. Boomer there. Boomer there. You got Boomer coming through Thor again. You got um, Boomer coming through here because it's a little yellow man, which is right there. So, and then you got boom, more Boomer coming through Thor. So this is a lion bread breeding, not because of just because of that. That's that makes some lion bread as well because that's the family, but also because I took the the sister of Beast and the, I mean I took the the mother of Candy, which is the sister of Beast, and then bred her to Beast. And it's pure stock. This is 100%. This is straight red boy Jocko. And so, candy bread to beast is lion bread. Now, this is not loose lion breeding. This is tight lion breeding. This stuff is tight. It's jammed tight. You see a lot of the same dog. So, this is tight lion breeding. Looser. This is, this is kind of tight. This is looser lion breeding, but it ain't loose, loose. Um... See, Faith, we got Faith. This is similar to Andromeda's, but a little bit different. Now, this is Lion Breeding as well. We took Andromeda, same dog, Red Boy Jocko. Little Yellow Man, same dog, Red Boy Jocko. This is the Little Maid to a Beast. And we bred her to a Band. Band got the quarter, Bolio, like we told you. And Little Yellow Man again. So they have the same sire. So she's off Andromeda. It's kind of, see, Andromeda to Band was like this, well, no, was like this right here, straight to Band. But now with this one, we have little yellow man inserted in an extra quarter of little yellow man. So you put this quarter or one fourth to that one fourth. That's fifty percent little yellow man in a in um in quarter bolio nunu quarter andromeda. But if you put it together, seventy five percent one two three seventy five percent red boy jocko, and uh, you got that quarter bolio, and that's what created this. These are half brothers and sisters, so that's a line breeding. Because they have the same daddy but different mama. So this is a lion bread breeding. You know what I'm saying? So what I consider inbred, all right, I'm going to show y'all what I consider inbred would be like Leo the ruler. They took Miss Red of Burns Jip, bred it to Thor, took the female off of that and bred it back to Thor. That's inbred. He's inbred. You know, that's inbred to me. So. Um, I'm gonna show y'all another example of a lion bred dog. This is one of my new favorites on the yard. Um, this jip right here, yeah, lion bred. So this jip here, she's off of yeah. So she has the mate eight side right here, bred to little yellow man. The bolio side right here, which is a quarter. These are quarters. All four of these dogs are quarters. The Bolio side bred to Little Yellow Man. So you got uh, two out different outcrosses to Little Yellow Man being bred together to get this dog. And this is my favorite style of breeding for um, <clears throat> high prey driven dogs. It's line breeding. You get the best of both worlds. You get you get the out you get the outcross vigor because they have little outs, and you get the family or uh, 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 more inbred type of, uh, you know, vigor or traits to them because they still within the family, which is this whole right here, all that to this. So that's within the family. And this even carries uh, dogs that's related to this because there's Rare Boy Jocko in, a lot of Rare Boy Jocko in Mozzie, a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? That could damn just be called Rare Boy Jocko if you look at it. You know, and so, um, so yeah, so that's a lion bred. This is more of a loose lion bred dog. This loose line bread. You know what I'm saying? I like loose line breeding. You know? Uh, uh, so. So, yeah. So, you look at you look at these dogs. Like, say, uh, Andromeda. Thor. Fate No More. The, the, this is more. Um, I would call this. Hmm. Let me see. I wouldn't even call this. Um. I would call this more of a, of course it's pure, 
But I still I still call it line breeding, but it's a very tight line breeding. It's pure. Cause you still you took you taking half uh half brothers and sisters. They got the same daddy, same granddaddy, but different grandmamas on the bottom. So you got thug thug, but different here. Thug thug different here. It's extremely tight and jam-packed for this line. And you want to do these breedings when you want the family traits to be intensified and then you know to get you to set you up to make some some of the best outcrosses. So with that said, man, I hope you kind of have an idea on um on uh line breeding and inbreeding. Um I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna show you like this dog here is inbred. She's inbred before I end cuz I ain't say much on inbreed. This dog here, you see um you see it's T Jack Dynasty. Boom. Bred to Dre. Dre's daddy, T Jack Dynasty. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And um so he's bred to he's basically bred to his auntie. So you got Dre off of him, bred to his auntie. So it's seventy five percent of that right there. The out is the little side coming through Tansy. And so, then you got the daughter off of that, bred back to Dre, which I didn't make this breed, but I own Bread Bone now, so that's why, you know, I could put my name there. So, you got the daughter off of this, bred back to Dre to get Nyjah, and so she's an inbred Jip. So, we, what we did this year, we bred Leo to uh, Nyjah, which was inbred to inbred, but it's separate strands of the bloodline, so it's, you know, genetically, it's kind of like, you know, you got to go way back for to, for the relatives. You know, you got to go back to the fifth, sixth, gen seventh generation for them to have like you know close relatives, closer relatives. So to you know, so it's it's kind of damn near like an outcross. I I call it in crossing because you're taking dogs within the same family when you go back, but they have been separated for a long while, generations, four to six generations, and you breed them together to stay pure, but also loosen up. So. With that said, man, y'all holla at me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chill. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. One.